Hey, Sahib, how does this work? How does what work? We learned in physics class that when two pool balls collide, there is an elastic collision. What is that? I mean, it's pretty simple. First, we have to talk about impulse, momentum, and collisions. Hit it, Tom. Back again. Back again. What is this? What is this? Chapter seven. Chapter seven. Okay. Impulse and momentum, the forces we just sent them. This lesson contains conservation, collisions, and then some. To start from the back, we'll give it a crack. Open up that knowledge, and then it's a wrap. Give me a clap. Define impulse, the J of a force. Simple F times T. That's just how it works. Momentum. Signified with P, its equation is so simple, look at sometimes V So how do they fit together, you know how do they rhyme Set them equal to each other like I'm dropping these lines Start with impulse, F delta time equals delta MV Always VF minus I, lesson 2 Conserving momentum, that with which you start Equals that with which you end in Example, take this midair collision Forces on each other now, pay attention and listen In this two body system, MV1 and MV2 their sum is still the same when the collision is through It's true, it's true, Newton's law say it too Question his judgment, well that's just rude How you doing right now? I'm fantastic Look at my collisions elastic We go, the change in momentum is drastic No net force, the momentum's long lasting Contrasting, the different types of collisions we have here KE can serve for elastic, it's all clear The opposite for inelastic, change gears Looking back on physics, it's been a great year Cons of mom applies to every collision What if they stick together when you envision Completely inelastic was the right decision This video's to answer questions with precision We have some stuff coming up so please stay in your seats You have too much kinetic energy in your feet But you will like the information, it's concrete You already know though, it's Derek on Beats So Al, do you get it now? Kind of, but what are some real life applications? Well, two moving objects, both possessing momentum by virtue of their mass and velocity, collide with one another. Within the system created by their collision, there's a total momentum m that is equal to their combined mass and their vector sum of their velocity. For example, during pool, the moving ball hits the stationary ball. Due to the hardness of the pool balls and their non-sticking tendency, this is an example of an almost perfectly elastic collision. Kinetic energy is conserved. Oh, it's starting to come to me now. Talk more about impulse. Impulse is equal to momentum change, and equal to force multiplied by the change in time. This means that the greater the force and the greater the amount of time over which it is applied, the greater the momentum. So, in a high elastic car collision, when the cars are bound, there is a very high impulse. On the other hand, an inelastic collision is when they crumple and has a far less impulse. Crumpling reduces impact time, which reduces impulse. This is necessary for car designs involving crumpling zones. A crumple zone is a section in which the materials are put together to ensure that they will crumple when the car experiences a collision. This can greatly reduce the effect of the force of a car in a crash. Sorry B, now you have what it takes to be a physics master.